In the latest version of the Thrive Architect plugin, we have started rolling out an improvement to how you can set up fonts and text styles for your landing pages. Hello, I'm Shane Malach from Thrive Themes, and I'm really excited to show you what is basically version one of a great improvement to how the setup works for landing pages in Thrive Architect. Let's take a look here. I've loaded up a landing page. I've loaded up one of our templates. And as you can see, this has, like all of our templates, it has pre-designed everything. So it has pre-designed font styles and colors and so on. And there's now a much easier way to change this on a greater scale. And what I mean by that is, what of course you can do, what you can always do in Thrive Architect is you can click on an element that you wanna change and then you have settings here. So for example, I've clicked on this text, I can change the font size and I can do things like that. But that means that if I have several headings, if we look at this, this is a heading three, if I have several headings, I would have to click on each one on the page and make the same changes to each one if I wanna transform the way this page looks. And we like to call a better approach to this the outside-in approach, which means that I'd rather make a global change, I'd rather make a change that affects everything first and then go and edit specific details. Here's how the new font setup for landing pages works. If I go to the page setup and then landing page settings, you can see that there's landing page text options right here with simply a button. I click that button and it opens this overlay right here. And very importantly, so this overlay represents all the headings and the paragraph and hyperlinks that can be on the page. And anything you set here will be the default style for that page. And what you can see here is we have all text selected and we can go and select individual headings. We can also select all headings. We can select the hyperlink and we can select the paragraph. So we can say all paragraphs on this page should have a, a specific style. We can say all heading ones on this page should have a specific style and so on. Now, here's an example of how this applies. If I want to change the font of a heading, I probably want all of the headings to have the same font. And what I can do then is in the breadcrumbs, I can select all headings, right? So now all headings are selected and I can change the font. So let's say I want to change this. I'm going to make it really obvious. I'm going to choose, you know, a very fancy looking font. And as you can see, this has been applied to all of the headings. And I could also then, maybe I want a different color for these. This isn't going to look very nice, right? I'm just <laughs> showing you how you can apply the same color to all headings. And another thing we can do is now that I've said, okay, this is what I want the headings to look like in general, I can do, go and tweak individual ones. So maybe I want my H2 to be larger. Maybe I want my H3 to be larger. And again, this will apply to all H2s on the page, all H3s on the page. Now, when I close this, it saves. And as you can see, it has applied this right here. And if I go ahead and I add, let's say I add a new heading and I make it a heading two, then it has the expected size and style that we set before. So as you can see, this is a way to make your customizations faster by going from the outside in. You set the general rule first, and then you can still, of course, you can still tweak this heading. You can still change the color and the alignment and everything you want about this. Now, a couple more things. If we go back into this, we go back page setup, landing page settings, text. Another great advantage here is that you can see what this style will look like even for headings that are currently not on the page. So right now I don't have any H4 headings, but I can still see what this will look like. And then once I add them, this is the style that will apply. Also, we can do more than just change the, the font size and things like that. So for example, if I know that, let's say all headings, if I know that I want my headings to be center aligned in general, then I can center align them all right here. We can even do something like, let's say we have an H2 and we can add a decoration. So we can go into some more fancy design options here. So I can say, let's say I want to add a bottom border. Let's just add a light gray bottom border like this. And I can also, I can use all the usual styling options, right? Let's say I want to add some padding. So I want to have distance and then a bottom border. I can save that. And now you can see this is applied to heading two. And if I go in, I add a new heading and make it, this is a heading one. I make it a heading two. There we go. It's center aligned. It has the size we set and it has this underline effect. 
Another thing to quickly note is that here, for example, this was unaffected. This is simply a custom style. This was inline styled and this font here was applied to this specific text. So this is not a normal paragraph and it's not one of the headings. So the outside in rule applies here that the more specific style wins. So any text that you've already styled in line will not be affected by these page level font changes. All right, so that's the first look at the new font setup feature in the Thrive Architect plugin for WordPress. We're working on further improving and tweaking this and we also want to bring this kind of visual and fast font editing to other areas of the builder. What would really help us is to hear your feedback on this. Give this a try and let us know how it works for you. Let us know what you think of it so that we can make it even better for you.